This is the macro show. This is pregame, okay? We're trying to play the game that's in front of us today. You know, leadership matters at Hedge Eye. So again, being transparent, accountable, and trustworthy people. This is a game about playing and weighing probabilities. It's not about picking stocks. It's about picking the right portfolio. We are seeing a few more of the top weighted NASDAQ 100 companies, Apple, NVIDIA, and Meta, move to bullish rankings. Are you seeing any signs of a potential shifting in your signals within the NASDAQ 100 index due to the changes in, in these influential companies? Thanks for all your guidance. Yeah, well, um, important point, some of that is not new. Um, so like, NVIDIA today, I put it in there. I said I was going to put it in there. I try to do what I say I'm going to do. Um, one, NVIDIA, that's been the case for a while now. Two, Apple, recently the case, and it's barely. That could change by next week, so I'd call that a tentative one. What was the other one you asked about? Uh, Meta. Meta, yeah, we've been bullish on Meta for a while. So this, this shouldn't surprise anybody. This isn't new news today. The only one that's relatively new compared, because these have been longstanding, relatively longstanding, i.e. more than uh, really the last three months, Apple flickers. It could go on and off, on and off. And that's actually the risk. I know that you're, I mean, the question is, what, I'm just going to give you my answer to what I want to talk about anyway, but the, <laughs> the, the, this is a risk, okay? The indexes have crashed and collapsed with those things happening to the upside. So now, from the top end of the range is the most probable thing to go down, is that you went up. And those are much heavier weights on the, on the major indices. So again, it's partly why the Russell's been such a dog, because they don't have those constituents relative to you know, the NASDAQ and NASDAQ 100 in particular. So uh, the mother of all bubbles, as I wrote in the early look, um, again, read that. Early look today just reminds you, if these things weren't happening, people are buying profitless tech, buying the bubble caps, buying the meme stocks, GameStop, et cetera, it wouldn't still be the mother of all bubbles. Okay? Um, so I, th I think there's a, obviously a lot of risk anytime we get to the top end of the range. It's only been 15 months. Every single time the complexion of it, uh, you know, the, the components, I should say, are a little different. Uh, but this one, I mean, there's an outright narrative chase in NVIDIA, obviously, and I'm not shorting it yet. See how I did that? Yeah, I can say, I can know something's a bubble and something's likely to blow up in this guy's face, but why price, why put that on until you get to a catalyst, like maybe when he has to report reality, the NVIDIA dude, uh, or when you get to the top end of the range or both? And that, that's how I've solved for that you know, over the last 24 years of trading is don't be the smart guy, right? Don't be the intellect that knows that NVIDIA trading at whatever, 60, 70 times earnings is too expensive. You know, wait for the top end of the range and or wait for the catalyst as you get closer to it. If you want to, you know, take some shots at puts, you know, that's where you'd use it. So for example, you may not be at the top end of the range on NVIDIA the day before they report reality, but you may be close to it and you could buy the puts that are at the low end of the range. You know, that, that would be a, a thing that I would try to do. Define what your loss is if the guy is still successful in spewing his bullshit, okay? So, and, it, and by the way, uh, that's a research point. Ami Joseph has made, you know, again, he did his checks again earlier this week, and there is, not, there is nothing remotely close to how the NVIDIA CEO is selling the dream compared to what's happening in the order books, okay? So that's our view on that. Hey there, Hedgeye Nation, or if you're not part of Hedgeye Nation, thanks for watching Hedgeye on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the button below there. Subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content.